Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today I show you a set from the company Sembo. Yes, it's a long time ago I showed you Sembo, but I really like Sembo blocks because they have really good quality, mostly unique and self-designed sets. And this here is a 1x8 Technicar. They worked with the designer S. Shaw. Okay. I don't know, perhaps this is a racing version of a Bentley because it's Brixley. I, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar actually with any race cars. I don't have the time to watch race sports. I don't have the time to watch anything in TV, mostly. So perhaps somebody of, me, of you know if this is a, it has a real world car. Um, model number is 701138. Sembo has always or mostly six digits. It's a 1x8. It's a RC. That's radio controlled is, is wrong because it's Bluetooth controlled. If you use the original Sembo power functions. And we have 3614 pieces. It's a pretty, pretty thick instructions with 402 pages. So that's that's a level of Lego around. So really, really thick. Okay, the set comes with two pair of or two sheets of stickers. I won't apply them, so have a closer look. You won't see them again. So the next you see my normal 5.6, oh, but what, what, what have we, perhaps, we will see. Okay, we have 10 building steps. Okay, so <laughs> you see my 10 takes of the building, of the assembly, and then I show you the final car. Well, this is building step one, and after I discovered that this set is using fake motors, so you're building parts that looks or has the same size as the motor to fit it in. I love that. If you don't have the motors, I think that's a better solution as keeping the, the space empty. And I had some motors power function set laying around here from another set, and so I decided to use it here. So we have two XL motors. They are connected over the two big gears. In between the big gears sits the normal black small gear. Goes to the differential, goes over the axles here where our wheels or where the rims later connect. And this is one of the most stable back axles I have ever built. So really soon I discovered that is not Mold King, that is not TGL, that is not Lego, that must be Sembo or Winner, because both the companies are using unusual building techniques to get a really nice result. So I love the Sembo and Winner Technic cars, and this here is really awesome to build and unusual, so that's always nice. Oh, building step two was a smaller one and brought us here the possibility to use the gears or not use the gears for 4VD or not 4VD. So that's nice, everything function fine. Here we have a Ford how the width of the car will be. And from underneath we have this look here. Everything really works so clever together. Oh, I'm the king of the rhymes. So clever together, really. So some things you bring on, some attachments, then flip it at 90 degree and fixate it here and here. Really nice. So in the beginning I was, okay, another one by eight. And now I'm, yes, another one by eight. So this is really entertaining. And you know, I have a, built a lot of these cars. And this is definitely from the building techniques used one of the most entertaining builds. Well, building step three is done, brought us first parts of the roof. We have more width here 
on the driver's side with two the Technic frames attached. Everything is very stable and very clever designed. Here the two transparent panels. I had preferred a black one or two black ones, the big one and the small one, but they are only 20 cents. So if you like them in black, just order two or perhaps you have two at home. So this here looks at the moment a little bit odd because I don't know in which angle it will be at the end. Uh, yeah, this part here, I don't know if this was necessary. We have to look at the the hole in the end. What I really like is that the instructions shows you which holes you have to use for the cable management. That's always nice. So you don't have problems with the length of the cables because you used another route for the cable. So that's always nice if the instructions shows you the cable management. Uh, I believe this spring here or suspension is was um, in two parts when I got them. Not together, I had to put it in and it felt out from alone. But as soon as it was assembled here and pressure comes from both sides, mm -hmm. the suspension works already, no problem with that. Okay, so far, one of the best builds, like I said, and yeah, this is a little bit odd. And what I don't like too here is that you see the blue pins inside. This looks really not nice. Transparent pins would better there. Okay, next step. Now building step four brought us more st stabilization here on this side, on the driver's side. The roof is stable now, everything's fine. And brought us the same here on the left side. The VIF the stabilization here is missing, that's in building step five. But only for this here, or for the stabilization of the roof, he uses really, really unique building techniques I haven't used before, so I'm very happy for about this set. Like I said often, or like I said often, the beauty of a set lies in the eye of the beholder, but the, the building techniques, I can really say objective, are really brilliant. Now building step five, half of the set, we are on page 200 from 402, so half of the pages, half of the bags. And you see, we have this here and this here on both sides. And the front axle is going to be built next. The beige here, the detail uh, gear is connected to the back axle. This here connected at the moment to nothing. So this is the look of the where the amateur, all our amateurs are sitting later. And yeah, really so secure. Um, I got a message that I, sh the more doors, uh, I should send someone else. Uh, and now I'm really scared to disassemble this here to get the motors out. Well, this is one of the best secured Technic sets I have ever built. I believe I, it will take four to five hours to get this here totally dis dis disassembled to get my motors out. Okay, but man, is this here great. I'm really, really pumped up for the look of it because here, I'm really curious how this will work. Well, this is building step six. This is an overdub because the original sound was gone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so sorry for the change of sound. So in building step six, I assembled the servo motor and you see it, it's in front of the, the front wheels sitting before the front axle and it's 90 degree angled to the normal position. That's very strange. I haven't assembled a, a servo motor in a 1x8, never in this technique. So I'm really curious if this will working. Because this servo has two functions. It goes directly to the steering and it brings the steering into the driver cabin for the steering wheel. You see on the left and on the right, on front and on the back, we have rubber bands. 
and I'm not sure for what they are. <laughs> I'm really not sure what what the reason, the sense of this is. I don't know. Okay. And we have a V8 connected, and the V8 is really uh, connected to the back axle, so it, it drives, or it moves when you drive. Another overtop of building step 7. On the left and on the right side, we have the final width of the car. And you see, we, oh, I assembled the fenders, I assembled the front lip. And yes, I'm, I'm I'm pretty. I'm not pretty sure if this will really work with the 90 degree angle servo, if this is a good solution. But you see, if we go straight from the axle with the cardan joints, we come to the driver's position to assemble there the steering wheel, the long cable. I believe I have to bring over the suspension so that we have no problems with the moving parts. Well, building step eight. Seven was the smallest, eight was a little bit bigger. We got fenders here at the back, fenders in front, you already seen. The whole front here looks very nice. And so on. Okay. Um, I got a little bit further in the instructions because I wanted to know where to put the battery box and then I was really surprised. This set is meant to be to have two battery boxes here in the bag and with an um, extension cable here from steering it goes to the back. But why two battery boxes? I have three motors in the set. Three motors. Why should I use two battery boxes? It makes no sin, no sense because my RC only connects to one battery box, so I could drive or I could steer. Because when it's both on, on different boxes, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't have two battery boxes at the moment for, for to build here, I'll show you later. And I don't have extension cable. So I decided to bring on the cables to here. So that's no problem, it's absolutely easy. And the battery box will fit on the, on the um, not the driver's seat, the, the passenger seat. So that's for me the easiest solution. It looks a little bit odd, I know, um, but that makes no sense the other way. Two battery boxes, extension cable, that makes no sense. If I had an extension cable, okay, I would make one battery box here in the end and drive and steer on one battery box. Why two? Can anybody explain it to me? Perhaps the designer? I don't know. Oh, building step nine is done and we see uh, the, the back, the heck of the car. Really nice. Um, we have a lot of space here for the two battery boxes. But I don't get it why two. Why are two battery boxes needed in the instructions? That makes no sense. Okay, if I had an uh, extension cable, I would place the, the battery box here, but I don't have extension cable at the moment. So I place the battery box very nice here. Okay, it looks stupid, but what should I do? Oh, building step 10 is done and nearly the whole car. Okay, bonnet and engine cover. Here, the, the, it's not the, the brake disc, it's the brake, I don't know the, the English term, you know what I mean, but it's nice that it is in pink. I'm really happy about this. <coughs> the doors connected with two pins, they are solid. Nothing to complain. And here our hex boiler for the downforce. Okay, so I would say I bring on the tires and we see us in a few seconds for the review part of the video.
it's done. After around 11 hours, it's finished our perhaps a Bentley Brixley uh, racing supercar. Yes, okay. Uh, I complained in the uh, assembly videos a lot about the two battery boxes that makes absolutely no sense because this can only connect to one of them. And I was wrong because <laughs> I watched this here the operating instructions and if you use the original Sambo uh, battery boxes they are Bluetooth and with the Sambo app and a newer handy with a new uh, Bluetooth version you can connect to two different devices at once so you, have, you can share or, or you can play music for two pair of headsets and so you can connect to both of the battery boxes at once. And then you have the great op opportunity and the advance that one battery box is only for one XL motor and the other for a XL and a server. So you have a lot of power and endurance. So, okay. If you don't have the solution with, or you, do, you want to use your power functions, then to avoid the battery box here on the seat, use extension at least 30 centimeters and then the battery box in the back and one battery box is enough a normal power functions uh, a set is enough okay you see here the um, the suspension is not strong enough to really keep this up and normally I can get one finger in but well, Without, it's really sitting a little bit on the tire. Not too tight, so... What's now? Ah. Okay. Hey. Oh! It, <laughs> it's the, the, the white board here. He's connecting to the... He's so deep. This is really, really a racing car. He's really fast. I'm really surprised because 3,600 pieces, normally the cars are a little bit slower. I don't know, this here is really going well because uh, of the gear ratio, obviously. But it's really going well. Ah, okay, you really want to see how... Ah, what is? Now, the turning circle. Yes, he needs space. Always the dog hairs. It's like a lot of these cars are making, not a mistake, but okay, how often do you really drive these cars? If you really want to play with an RC car, then buy a real RC car, because they make it really fun and they are fast. And yeah, this is not, not much, not enough for really playing with it. So like all of these 1x8s, it's a display car. You drive one, two times and then, okay, you're surprised how fast it is, but then you see that this here is sitting on the table because it's really going deep. A little bit stiffer suspension or higher suspension would be nice because it's really, really tied to the floor or it's, it's sitting on the floor. Yes, it's sitting on the floor, oh, on the tires and on the floor. But for the looks, it's great because it looks really like a deep, deep racing car with a lot of traction. Okay. Uh, size for 1x8, it always matters. And we are at yes, a little bit more than 57 centimeters. The width. Normally, the mirrors, 25, height, 13 and a half. Okay, so we have the size, the weight must be like the, the Lego versions around. If you have only the, if you only knew the Lego supercars, 3,600 pieces, power functions, a little bit more than perhaps you have a Porsche at home or something like that, or the Lamborghini. Yes, this is... I didn't realize in the German version of the video that, because it was a... I didn't realize he's really on the ground a little bit. Okay, 
We will see. I will drive him later through the kitchen because it's very cold today. So uh, yeah, we will see if he's getting between the tiles when the new tiles coming. If he's stuck, <laughs> that that is interesting. Okay, you see the. They are not really matching the color. The gray is really close. Actually, the dark green is nearly exactly. And light green? Ah, uh, that's brighter on the stickers. Okay. 11 hours is the building time. So let's go through. You see it's driving. <laughs> Not much more. We came to the other we will be coming to the functions later on. The instructions. Pretty good. Really, really good. I can only complain about one thing. It's sometimes when the whole set is on one side. They are not close enough to show me which pins. I have really to go closer. I'm an old man and I have to get closer. So I have to look more times. That's a little bit annoying for me. Next time show only half of the car. If you have assembled something here, something here, you have, don't have to show the whole car. Show this part or this part. So I see the front I use where I have orientation. And then I can get 25% 5, uh, closer and I have a better image. But the rest is really good. The instructions is pretty, pretty good. Like mostly from Sample, I have nothing to complain. The um, piece quality, Sample Blocks has always good piece quality. I've never had a set from Sample where I was disappointed of the piece quality. And it's here the same. The Technic pieces really function well together. No complaints, no problem, no slipping gears or anything. Brilliant. Really good. I don't have scratches. I have an, uh, a good color consistency. So this is on the level, really on the level like above Lego a little bit, I believe, because of the color consistency <laughs> and close to, to, to Mole King in, in, in most ways. So a little bit better than Mole King with the gears and the axle, my opinion. So this here, perhaps this is the reason it's a little bit faster than the normal Mole King 1x8 car. Or it's the gear ratio on the, on the XL motors. Okay, so everything's fine. What is the best about this car? And so I built it last year, 22. So for me, this is a 22 car. And this is the best set or the best supercar set, the best car Technic set I assembled 22 of the assembly process. This was so fun because the solutions and Technic as Sean is, is using are not revolutionary, but they're entertaining because I haven't used these building techniques, especially for the back axle and the possibility to steer it and some connections between are really great. I was really wow sometimes or asking me why is this there and then later on you turn something and it connects and you are okay okay now i know so i'm doing this in april five years and i believe i built 40 50 60 of these one by eight supercars or one by ten uh, i haven't built a one by six <laughs> and there is not often that I say buy it because of the technique and, and, and the solutions. But if you like what you're seeing and you're really into technique and want to see other solutions than TGL, Mole King or normally Lego deliver us, then buy this set. I will tell I promise you you will be entertained from the solutions and techniques as Shaw has used here. For me it was really fun. It was one or two times I was a little bit because uh, I didn't reach it really good, but it was not much. The rest here, I was really smiling. My mom sits, sits most of the time here to my left because over Christmas she's mostly coming or every year coming. And she was, what's going on? And I said, because she, she often sees me building, but she don't often see me wow or says here or something like that. So. She, 
she recognized I was happier than normal. Okay, so that's to the set. That's the, the, the best part on the set is the assembly process. The final result is always in your eyes. Okay, the technique or the, the functions, we can open the hood. We have a um, connected eight V8 cylinder. It's connected to to the motor, so no problem. But the really cool solution is here that the the servo motor is sitting in front of the front tires and is not this normal line. It's vertical, 90 degrees, and that's strange. But the cool thing is with that solution, one goes to the steering or to, to the uh, connected steering wheel in, in, in the car and the other goes uh, to the actual steering. So the solution is really cool and I haven't seen this before. That was another thing I was wow. <laughs> Wow, strange, but it really works good. And it's only small gears. It's the small black one and the small tan one uh, to bring it to the real uh, steering. And the rest is the straight on version goes, goes to inside. But that's really nice. Um, yes, we can op obviously open the doors. They are not too flimsy. They are okay. Connected with two pins. Can nothing say bad about it and yes we, if we get the spoiler up we can open the trunk so far but it's far enough to connect to the two battery boxes that should be in there if you have the extension or the original power function set from Zembo for this car so brilliant okay the only technical flaw is really that it's sitting on the ground. <laughs> you see normally both the same, but the weight here th through the XL motors um, brings down the suspension. And if you have the normal wiring, then you have the two battery boxes in the back too. So if you really build the, the version with the two battery boxes and you really want to drive this car, get other suspensions for, for the back. You need four harder suspensions, much harder suspensions, because they are, you see it, not very hard. It's really easy to get it down. It's okay. I will show you if it's bright enough in the kitchen and if I have time to clean <laughs> the kitchen. <laughs> it's Christmas. Um, I show you how it's dr driving and uh, a one-turn circle. Okay. If you have any questions, write it in the comments. So I check it. Instructions good. Assembly process great. Piece quality good. Or instructions good to very good. Piece quality good to very good. Assembly process very, very, very good. And the result, in my opinion, is good. Really, this is a really good set. Really good set. Nothing. Nothing bad. Okay, the stickers. And this a little bit, but not a, for me, not a big issue. Just use other suspension. And then this is a great, 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 great 1x8 car. Okay. Thank you for watching. I am Frank, your Brick Freak, or one of your Brick Freaks, the German version of the Brick Freaks. And next set will be the Cuban Pokemon Center. Yes, <laughs> we will see. But I will do this review together with Max, a friend of me, because he is into the Pokemons. He knows every Pokemon and I knew nothing about him. And then I have three Technicals. And write me the uh, three Technic sets from Mole King. So write me in the comments which you would prefer to see next. Uh, there is a fork loader, a fork lifting car, a small red one, all with power functions. Um, a yellow uh, loader for rocks or something like that. I don't know. Big, 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 big truck with a big capacity, uh, like the, the big caterpillar cars in the super mines. The super really high, big 
Caterpillar cars in small. And the Ford Mustang Hoonigan pickup from Ken Block. All three power functions, all three mode kings. So you can decide, you and the German viewers, which you want to see next after the Pokemon Center. Okay, thank you for watching and thank you for the whole last year that you stayed to the channel, that you watched our videos and that you comment to us so we know we need some feedback. We don't have always the time to give you feedback to your feedback. But we are full working, both Gregor and me, and we have family and a house and dogs and cats and everything. So for us, it's the time, not um, that we disrespect or something like that. If we don't answer to, to a comment, perhaps we have overseen it or we don't have the time. If it's really important, then write us an email. So email is in the channel info. If it's really important, don't be annoyed that we don't, if we don't answer, if we get an email, that's a different kind of thing, because I have an email notification and everything. I don't have the notifications on YouTube turned on, because on one day it will bing, 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 bing. On one day, sometimes 50 new subscribers, 50 new comments, 100 times. And yes, like I said, I'm full working guy. Thank you. Have a good time. I'm Frank. Bye-bye.